ready to go crazy full body workout? I thought so, I've got a good feeling. Let's check in really quick. All you need, possibly a mat today, we'll pop down and do a bunch of abs, glutes, inner thighs. So I want you to have something comfy. Grab either some weights, threes, fives, eights if you want them for biceps. Have something lighter. We'll do some chest stuff, some tricep stuff. So grab some soup cans, some weights. If you've got some kind of awesome kids outside ball, maybe grab that. Otherwise, just take a pillow that you can fold in half that might give you some resistance. We'll do some more inner thigh stuff. I'm so excited to get going. This has been so awesome. Keep like typing in your requests, text me, email me, give me what you want. I am here to serve you. Uh, that being said, if life is the same, nothing has changed for you, but you want to keep working out, visit that little Venmo page if you can give. Great. If not, and you're like us and jobs were like, whoop, really quickly, then please join me anyway. I want to spend this time with you and let's stay healthy together, okay? Here we go. Tunes on. Get a little smile on your face. We're going to reach side to side. I want you to think reach. Reach, 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 full heart rate, right away, right? Think, get into it, burn it up. Abs are in tight, your heart is open, your smile is on, give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, get ready for the ground, four, three, two, all the way to the ground, push-ups, down and up, down, up, down, up. Now you keep going. I'm going to talk you through it. I want your hands below your shoulders. Your abs and your ribs are in tight, okay? Get down a little bit lower. Four more. One. How low can you go? Two. Go three. Now hold on four. Bring your left heel up towards your seat. Bend your knee. Press your heel up. 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 Warm up the glute. Soften your elbows. Four more. Switch. Left leg down, right leg up. Bend the knee, heel presses up. Soften your elbows again. Four, three, listen up. On one, put the foot down, hold. Do not put your knees down. Slowly come to forearm plank. We usually start forearm plank here, right? It's incorrect. Drop your hips down lower than you want it to be. Bend the right knee and then bend the left. I'm looking down between my hands. My neck is relaxed and long. One leg, then the other. One knee at a time. Abs in tight. Keep going. You keep going. I want you to feel reaching, right? Navel to spine. Ribs and abs in. Quiet in the upper body. Right knee, left knee, right knee. Left knee, give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one, hold. Turn your right arm in. Spin open to the sides of your feet, open up, left arm to the sky. Harder option, stack the feet. Hardest option, point the toe and lift your leg up high for four, three, hands and feet are relaxed, two, and one foot down, switch. Left forearm down, stagger the feet. Harder option, stack. Look up, hand to sky. Maybe lift the leg. Everything is chill. Four, three, two, on one. Back to forearm plank. Bend both knees. Bend, press. Again, I'm gonna drop my hips lower than I want to. Push into my forehand, my forearms. Push into my hands. Two more. Speed it up for the final eight. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hands down. Press it back, down dog. Try to push your feet flat. Woo, slippy, slippy. Awesome, look at your hands. Jump through. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's ab time. Come on down. Come on down. Let you adjust the pants here. Bring your legs up to tabletop. 
Flex your feet. Hands behind the head. One ankle drops down to the ground at a time and lift it back up. Other heel down and up. Down and up. I am keeping my knee over the hip and then back up, right? So I reach it away and it stops at the hip. Down, up. I have a natural arch in my lower back, a natural arch in my lower back. Breathe, down, up. One more each side. All right, now try to go a little faster. Just right and left. When you're ready, start to curl up. Head, neck, and shoulders are up now. Try to get your shoulder blades off the ground. If you're like, absolutely not, just come down a smidge, but stay lifted. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Let's make it harder. Hold it in tabletop, curl up and down. Lift, lower, up, down, up. You keep going. I want you to think about the abs squeezing in, right? You're literally curling the body up and down. Curl it up and down. Try to get the ribs to touch your hip bones. It's not gonna happen, but you could get close, right? Up and down. Two more like this. Curl, release. Now hold it up high. Alternate the feet. Right and left. Start to twist. Opposite elbow. Opposite knee. Heel, 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 heel. Give me eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. On eight, hold the right leg in. Hold your thigh or your calf, anywhere other than your knee. Thigh or calf. Hold it in. Switch. Left calf or left hamstring. Pull it in. Other leg is pulsing down. Good, four more like this. Then start to switch. Right for two, left for two. Let's start to add that Pilates breath. Go. Inhale, two exhales. Inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, two more. Breathe. Last one. Singles, right, left. Try to curl up a little bit higher, right? I'm gonna use my arm strength to do that little rocky rolly a couple times. Try to stay higher. Push your navel down into your spine. Take opposite hand to opposite ankle and reach. Keep it going. Last 10. One, two, three. Reach four. Reach five. Reach six. Keep it going. Seven. Not done yet. Eight. Nine. On 10. Legs to the sky. Roll out the ankles. Reverse curl. Tailbone up and down. You can put elbows in. And imagine the legs going right up in between the hands. Up squeeze and down. Now ideally you're not lifting the legs towards you, right? Ideally they would go almost straight up and down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. I want you to think about lifting the tailbone two centimeters, not inches. Really think from navel down, doing all the work. Two more, up and down. Last one, hold it. Turn the legs out, point your toes, crisscross your ankles, right and left, right and left. Bring the legs a little bit lower, right where you feel the lower belly really tug. That's your point of control. Curl head, neck and shoulders high and beat a little quicker. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Final 10, one, two, keep it going. Three, four, crisscross the ankles, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10, hold your knees to your chest. Woo, shake it out side to side. Right away, keep going, no break really. Put the feet down, lengthen the arms down, lift your hips up where you feel your hamstrings squeezing into the glute and hold there, hold. Push into the feet more. Push more into the ball of the foot. See what that activates for you. Push more into the heel. Then start to lift the hips one inch higher and release down. Lift and lower. Up and down. Four more like this, just to feel hamstring. 
squeezing into glute. Up and down, up and down. Last two. Hold the hips high. Creepy crawl your left foot in just an inch towards your right foot and then point your right foot up to the sky. Start a little lift. A tiny pulse up with the right toe. I'm putting all my weight into my left heel, my left foot. Give me four more. One, two, make it tremble a little bit. Three and four. I keep my hips high. Right foot down, keep your hips up, 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 up. Creepy crawl the right foot in, extend the left leg up. Lift and lower. Try to keep your hips level, up and down. Again, try to push more weight into the right heel, keeping all five toes on the ground. Last four, one, go two, up three, keep the hips high on four, just put the foot down. Come to high heels. Squeeze the knees together. Feet are apart. Hips go up. Up. I want you to feel high inner thigh. High, high, high inner tush. This is literally where that funny song, Apple Bottom Jeans, kind of comes in. Right? Little lifts. We're lifting the glute max up off of your thigh, up off of your hamstring. Right? We put so much work into a lot of other muscle groups. We want to make certain that the back side of the body is also strong. Hips are high, hips are level. My knees are squeezing together. I'm activating the inner thigh, the high inner tush. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hips down, roll over onto the left side of your body or the right, wherever you are. And then lay all the way down. Take the top right thigh or left up and over and extend your bottom leg out. We're working into the inner thigh. Push into the ground, relax your head down and just lift up, up, up. Now, everyone's gonna be different. Maybe you need to move your leg way far forward. My foot's coming towards the camera. Or maybe take your leg way far back behind you. Try lifting. Wherever you feel the most resistance, that's where I want you to stay. Up and down. 10, 9, 8, 7. Just try to find the inner thigh. Woo! I feel it a lot when I move it forward. I'm going to stay right there. Hold it. Give me a little circle. Up and around. Up and around. Close your eyes for a second. Let that beautiful brain of yours kind of turn off. And just let your heart and your endorphins take over. Right? It feels so good to make the body work. Two more circles. Now reverse. Go the other way. For some reason, this is always exponentially harder. Right? Up and around the other way. Up and around. Only four more this way. One, two. Listen up. Three. On four. Hold it. Flex your foot. Try to go faster, faster. So you're going on the beat and you're just bouncing like a little ping pong on your ankle, right? Last 10, wow, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one, yoza! We could be done right now, but we're not. We're like a quarter of the way through. Swing your legs around the other way. Start on the forearm, find the hip, roll the top hip up and over, lay all the way down. Take your top leg, lay it down, relax it. Bottom leg out, lift and lower. So now my right leg is up. Relaxing my head, relaxing the neck, the shoulders. And then start to find again, where do you need to go? Way far forward maybe? Up and down, maybe it's further back. Both of your legs will be different, right? So find the, the part that you can work the most into the inner thigh right now. Up and down, lift, lower, up. Good, last two like this. Hold it up high, give me a circle. Woo, extending the leg out, right? Point your toes and feel like you're kind of shooting energy out of your toes, up and around, up and around. Last four on this way. Try to get your thigh off the ground, thigh off the ground, holy moly, now reverse. Other way, again, somehow, for some reason, this is always so much harder. Up and around this way. Last four, one. Try not to rush it. 
two, we want to try to speed through it, three, last one, hold it as high as you can, flex your foot, start a little lift, up, down, up, down, but now try to double time it, right, up, 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 ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, you have finished the groundwork, come on up, woo, give yourself a little pat on the back, be a little bit sweaty, come on up, grab a sip of water, and we'll move into the lower part of the body, the thighs, and your seat. Let's do it. We're going to do thigh work and arms at the same time. Arms and thighs right away at the same time. So, fix this crazy top of mine. I want you to take your legs into a lunge. All right, take your legs into a lunge. One leg in front, one leg back. One leg in front, one leg back. Here we go. Woo, full lunge. Palms up. You curl the arms up and down. Lift and lower. As you curl, take your knee to the ground. Down and up. Keep going. Down and up. From the side, I want you to get your knee all the way to the ground. Down. Up, down, up, down, up. Now start to maybe think about getting your back knee closer to the ground. Keep it going, down, up. Find your tempo. Try to stay with this if you can. Keep your left front knee pretty quiet. Think back right knee to the ground. Down, up, down, up. Two more, down, up. Hold it down. Start a little pulse. Turn your feet to wide second. Keep it going with the bicep curl, right? You're working right into the bicep. Lift, lift, teeny tiny. Eight in between, one, two. Then we go to the other side, three, four. You're warming up the thighs, five, six. How low can you go? Seven. On eight, all you do is adjust the feet. Turn the back foot forward. This time, turn the palms in to face each other. You're in a hammerhead curl. Take your back knee to the ground. Your front knee stays pretty quiet here. Down and up, down and up. Again, keep the front knee directly over the ankle. Your back left heel is high. Breathe. Four more, one, two, three. Hold it again, low on four, find that little pulse. Turn the feet out to wide second, get lower. Awesome, if you had your heavier weights right now, I want you to switch out to the lights. Switch out to some soup cans or some threes. We'll give you about 10 seconds to meet us. Turn the palms up, keep it going. We're going to reach the arms out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. Now the thighs have this like little double bounce. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Keep going. I want you to start to feel biceps squeezing up into the arm, into the shoulder. And I want you to feel the chest, the pectoral. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Four more, breathe, two, breathe, three. Last one, hold it out on four, hold it out. Reach the arms out to the side. Roll the weights out towards your fingertips and just lift. Lift biceps strong into the shoulder, into the chest, the pectoral. Last eight, seven, six, let me try some. Five, four, three, two, on one. Pull the elbows in, bring your feet in, shake out your legs. It was a lot for the thighs, even if you didn't feel it. Take your hands to your hips, hinge forward. Take your right arm out and bring it in. Left and in, honing into the tricep. Now I want you to think more about down and back instead of high, right? When we go high, we do this. Notice my trap immediately came up. I want you to elongate the neck, elongate the shoulders down, hone into just your tricep, out and in. If you need to stand up a little bit, do so, right? Don't take the hinge, harder option, both arms, out, in, out, and in, out, and in, four more, one, reach the arm way back, two, it's the perfect robot, go three, last one, on four, hold it back, turn the 
palms up and squeeze your arms towards each other. Squeeze your arms towards each other like so. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, this is it, 5, 4, 3, 2, on 1, roll the shoulders. Last little bit, some big rows, lighter weights if you want, or switch out to your heaviers, grab them quickly, meet us here. Wide feet, turn the feet forward, like you're holding a beach ball, right? I want you to pull the elbow up to shoulder height and shoulder depth. Up and down. Lighter weights start to move through it. Right, left, right, left. My girls and guys with five pound weights, eight pound weights, 10 pound weights, maybe slow it down. It's up to you. Last 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Use the lat. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome, these are done. Come right away into the wall, the countertop. Grab that fun little outdoor kids ball if you've got it. We'll keep moving into the thighs. Let's do it. First, I want you to start in what we call, it's not ballet first, right? The toes are not all the way turned out. It's a smaller stance than that, okay? Take the ball down in between the knees. Find this small little stance so you already have to squeeze the ball. Bring your hands to your hips. Hover your heels off of the floor and start a little squeeze on the ball. I'm gonna turn side so you can see this side view. I want you to think about having the ball or pillow more out than back. You'll get a better squeeze on the inner thigh. Then draw the abs in. Pull your shoulders back over your hips and feel like someone is just lifting you up through the crown of your head, right? Full ballet style right here. Finding that long spine, abs in, ribs in. Squeeze the ball. You should be feeling your inner thighs, right? Make certain you're squeezing every time. In, in. Even harder, we bring the arms up. Squeeze the ball, start to get a little bit lower, right? So my heels are just kind of hovering off the ground. The balls of my feet are pushing in. Squeeze the ball, in, in. Start to get a little lower. Even harder, start to sink the hips down for four squeezes. And then slowly come up. One, two, three, four, sink it down. One, two, three, four, bring it up, one. Two, shake out your fingers, no tension, no shoulder tension, down. Go two, go three, go four, bring it up, go one, go two, go three, last one. Hold it as low as you can. Lift your heels high, bend the knees a little bit more, woo, don't fall. Squeeze the ball fast, 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 fast. High inner thigh, you're working inner thigh all the way down into the knee joint. Heels are as high as you can get them, Hold onto the countertop or wall if you need to. Bend your knees a little bit more. Double time, in, 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 in. 10, nine, eight, seven, double time, six, five, bring it up, four, three, two, on one. Take the ball out. Bring it to your heart or throw it to the side. It's not necessary. Maybe just make prayer. Right leg in front, woo, don't you fall. Bring your back leg behind you. You're in a turned out lunge. Down and up. So your front foot is turned out. Your knee is going out over your first and your second toe. Just like as if we were in normal lunge, but we're turned out. My back foot is kind of directly behind my body. Maybe a little bit behind to the right. Down and up. I'm feeling my outer thigh, my outer seat, my outer hip. Down and up. Now to make it harder, as I come up, I'm going to stay low with my body and lift my knee to my elbow. Yee! Down and up, here we go. Down and up, down. Now to make it super hard, my arms go out and I try to get my back knee towards the ground. To the ground, up. To the ground, up. To the ground, up. Four more, one. Can you stay on that beat? Two. How low can you get your knee? Three. 
Last one, four, and out of there. Quickly shake it out, immediately switch. Left leg in front, right leg behind. Again, directly behind or a tiny bit to the left if you can keep it turned out. Hands to prayer, down and up, down and up. Now the trick, second side, we always wanna rush it, right? Don't. Give yourself that same setup. Front left knee, going out over my first and my second toes, it's turned out. My back knee is going to the ground. I want to try to get it towards the ground. Down, four more, one. Then we add the leg, two, breathe, three. Last one, start to add the knee. Down, up, down, up. How low can you get your knee? How low can you get the knee? Go down and up, go down, up. Four more, one, woo, outer thigh, outer seat, two. Last two, I'm about to lose my shoe, three. Here we go, four, and up, shake it out. Right away, I want us to take tush. No breaks today, right? Right into tush. Take your hand or hand into the wall or counter. Stand on one leg and extend your other leg behind you. But I want you to slightly turn out the hip, turn out the leg as much as you can, and bend your back leg. In ballet, we call this an attitude. You're lifting up for two counts and then down for two counts. So your back leg is lifting up in a turned out position and then lowering back down. Up for two and down for two. Two more, lift, lift, lower, lower. Last time, hold it up, single counts. Down and up, down and up. Now I want you to try to keep the abs super connected but I also want you to use a little bit of the spine today, right? A lot of us have been sitting more than we ever have. So I want you to think like, ooh, I need to keep my spine strong. Two more. Breathe, hold your left leg up. Take a little circle, back, up and around. Back, up and around. I'm going to give you a back view so you can see the leg crossing the center line of my body and not really going out, only kind of in. So it's here, I lift it across, up and down. Back, up and down. Back, up and down. Again, we're carving into that innermost part of the seat and lifting the seat up off of the thigh. Two more slow, back, up, and around. Last one, up, and around. Now try to go only back. So you're taking your leg, like sliding it on a table, over to the right. Slide, slide, to make it a little harder. Flex your foot, and think about lifting the knee one inch higher, and then lifting the heel one inch higher. Back. Eight more, one, two, three, four, five, six. If you notice, I've got this little micro bend happening in my bottom leg. Hold it back, hold it back. Straighten out the leg. Maybe lift your bottom heel high. And then little pulse, up, up. I want you to turn the leg down. I'm adjusting the bottom foot as well. Turn the hip down, turn the leg down. Bend the knee, flex the foot, push the heel. Up, up, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Tiny shake out right away into the other side. So again, hand into the wall, countertop. Turn the bottom leg out just a little bit. Turn your top leg out, hip open just a little. Turn the leg out so it's not turned in. My knee and the front of my foot are trying to peel out to you. Soften my knee. Lift for two. Lower for two. Up for two. Down. I'm gonna put my hand out here like I did on the other side. And it helps me kind of elongate the spine. 
but it also helps me feel high tush and strengthening my spine. Up for two and down for two. Up for two and down. Two more so slow. Finding the form, finding the length up, hold it up this time. Find the tempo. Down, up, down, up, down, up. I'm keeping the back pretty steady, but feeling that little workout in the spine. Abs are in super tight, long through the body, no tension. Shake it out, two more. Hold it up, hold it up. Find that little circle in, up. Whoop, don't hit the countertop. And down, I'm gonna move away a little. In, up, and down. In, up, and down. Again, I'll show you the back view. You keep going, in, up. I just don't want you opening the leg too far. You cross it, lift it, release it down behind you. Cross, lift, release it behind you. Cross, lift. Release, breathe, four more, one, go two, Woo! legs are trembly, three, hold it up on four, hold, 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 find like your leg just moving on the table, right, your leg is just going back, 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 kind of behind you, right, squeeze it behind you. To make it a little harder, flex the foot and squeeze the heel around behind you. Back, back, back. Last 10, one, two. I've got that little micro bend happening in my bottom leg, making it harder. Five, six, seven, eight. On 10, hold it out. Point the toe and adjust the feet, turning the legs into parallel. Lift the right leg back up, bend the knee, flex the foot, and push the right heel up, up. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Shake it out. Amazing seat work. Quick stretch to release the thighs and the hips, the outer hip, the outer seat. Take a figure four. Stand on your right leg, cross your left ankle up and over your thigh, and then sit down into your seated figure four. Woo! Outer seat, outer thigh, <clears throat> inner thigh today. I hope you felt that focus, right? All the inner thigh work on the ground, Switch your legs. Our inner thigh set standing for thighs. And then that fun turned out lunge gets you into the outer thigh, the outer seat. And obviously our seat work was all honing in on that as well. Breathe, absolutely wonderful. We're going to take a bigger stretch today. If you can stay, awesome. It's two more minutes. Otherwise, from the bottom of my heart, I love spending this time with you and I'll see you tomorrow. Otherwise, let's stretch. I'm just going to use the countertop here, and if it works out that you're like, yeah, I can do that, great. If not, I have this handy stool right here as well, and you'll use this instead. So, wherever your leg wants to go up, that's where we're stretching. Start by facing the object you'll stretch on, bringing the right leg up, flex the foot. Keep the hips square, we tend to do this, drop your hip down, breathe, and start to find a little hinge. It's tight, right? You're going to feel your hamstring very tight. If you can, pop your leg up on again, something higher that feels good to your body, right? This is your workout, no one else's. I still wanna keep my abs in, and I'm gonna try to find this little hinge. It is a lot on the hamstring, you don't have to move much. Good, then breathe. In ballet, we would then want to stretch the inner thigh, the legs. So I'm gonna move my leg here so I can show you. Good, turn your bottom foot out. 
try to turn your top leg out, meaning it's not here, it's definitely not here. Roll the knee and the toe up, take your hip and drop it down. Reach out towards your shin, reach the other arm up, 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 up and over. Hold here, I like to hold the arm for a second and then roll down with my head and stretch out the left side of my neck. Maybe you reach out to the foot. Maybe you soften the elbow, you can get one inch lower and release, beautiful. Gently creepy crawl in, switch out. So again, first one first, parallel. I really want you to feel the hamstring here to start. Hinging it forward, breathing. Feeling the hamstring release again, maybe the higher level if you're like not feeling the hamstring. Make certain you're feeling, connecting into the back of the knee, excuse me, and lifting all the way back up in. Reaching long, breathe. Hinging forward and gently release. Then we'll open it up to the side. I'm gonna take this and swing it over for you. Breathe, turning the bottom foot out, taking the top leg up and again, don't let it be rolling forward. As much as we want to like be in Wicked right here, we're not, right? So for my musical theater peeps, it's like one of the best moves of the show, but I want you to keep that super turned out balletic leg. Knee and foot opening up, hand to the shin, reach the right arm up, breathe, holding me here, and then maybe gazing down, stretching out the right side of the neck, Maybe you can reach the hand out to the foot. Maybe the elbow can come down. And then reach out to come up. Help your leg down. Breathe. Upper body. Arms reach up. I'm turning my feet in and taking a swan dive down. Hands to the ground. Bend your right knee and sink into the hip. Switch, bend the left knee, sink into the hip. Soften both knees a little bit. Roll up through your spine. Arms up. Bring your hands to your beautiful heart. Hone in on something so, so, so lovely that has happened to you this week. Remember how it made you feel. And try to tap into that again. Find the things while we are inside, locked and loaded, I always joke, just like in, right? You're in your house, you're, you're with your loved ones. Find those moments of joy. Find those moments of peace. I love you all so much. Happy, happy, happy day. I would be specific, but off the top of my head, I can't remember what day it is. <laughs> Love you all.